Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 10th, December 10th. And I decided, I pulled this deck out of my drawer, I haven't used it in a while, I don't know what the name of it is, so don't ask. It's The boxes are over there, and there's about a hundred of them, so whatever. Anyway, this was in my drawer, and I just, for some reason, decided to use this deck, and um, I don't know what the name of it is. Anyway, um, I could figure it out if I had to, but I'm not going to. But anyway, this is a reading for all signs. It's for whoever it resonates with. It's not going to resonate with everybody. I decided to cut this deck. I usually only do it with the vice versa deck. But for some reason, I was like, well, I'm going to cut this deck and see what I get. And we got the star card. So somebody is, you know, they got one foot in their emotions, perhaps, and one foot on the ground. So there's some sort of, on one side there's some clarity, and on the other side there's some sort of emotional feelings here, okay? Something is, is really emotional. But there's also some healing, okay? There's some healing going on. Whatever is happening is happening because it's time for somebody to follow their dreams, okay? So there's some sort of wish fulfillment, heaven sent. I mean, the star is, the star, I mean, it's sent from heaven, okay? So there's some sort of heaven sent wish being fulfilled. And somebody may be feeling a little bit emotional about is this too good to be true? You know what I mean? Is this, is this real? Is this real? Um, this card is also a card of comfort. Okay, it's a it's a card of being comfortable with who you are. Somebody is feeling really comfortable with where they're going, where they've been, and it's like they are. Um, They're coming together with something that they've really, really been praying for. So somebody's been praying for something. And they they it's like the reality is coming to it's becoming to reality. It's coming into reality. But now that it's coming into reality or it has come to reality, it's a little emotional okay so yeah I feel like there's some sort of wish fulfillment that it has or is coming and it seems like it's surreal you know there's a surreal um, wish coming true it's like I can't believe this I can't I, I just can't believe this so yeah It's feeling, it's like a peace of mind. I'm feeling very peaceful with the past and, you know, at peace, done a lot of healing. I'm grounded. Now something is, is happening that you've wished for and it's a little surreal. You know, it's unreal. This is a blessing. The star card is a blessing. Something is being revealed. I believe that there's some sort of clarity, you know, about a wish that somebody has made. And now it's like it's here and it's like it's unreal. I'll zoom this camera in after. Ooh, sheet. Sheet, sheet, sheet. Ooh, yay. Wonderful.
somebody is realizing that there's another opportunity coming out of a period of darkness. Thanks to this blessing that's arriving, whether they like it or not, because here we have the tower is a blessing as well. So we have a fate and change. It's like a storm is coming to clear the path. So some sort of direct hit. It's going to be a direct hit. Something is going to happen that wakes somebody up, okay? Because it's a rude awakening. Somebody is going to have a rude awakening. And they haven't, it's like they haven't seen it. They haven't seen what's available. There's an opportunity that's been available, but they've, they haven't seen it. They haven't, they've chosen not to see the opportunity. Close themselves off emotionally, close themselves off uh, bitter. But was there somebody here that has been very ugly, you know? upset closed off angry universe been watching there's a universe card they've been watching this person mentally shut down and it's like there's an opportunity for happiness for that rainbow I mean there is that's the two of cups back there you know there's an opportunity for that to receive a reward or a pot of gold or a blessing because there's blessings at the end of that rainbow but somebody has been so focused okay he's focused on the three of cups and here we got focused on the three of cups, the loss somebody has been focused on the hurt the loss you know not giving their heart not giving in living in like Misery. When all along there's been love. There's been love all along. But somebody has been refusing to see it. Refusing to accept it. Refusing to take it. Kind of like, no, I'm, I don't. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to take this love because I'm stubborn. Look how stubborn this guy is. He's stubborn. He's just being stubborn. Absolutely. But growing more angry as the days go by because their heart isn't being fulfilled. I want it. This person wants it, but stubborn as hell. Stubborn as hell. Towers been or the universe has been watching. And the storm is a brewing and it's been a brewing. And the waves have been building up, building up, building up, building up. And it looks as though there's going to be a direct hit. Perhaps to the psyche, you know. Because change is on the horizon and it's time for a change. It absolutely is time for a change. Destiny. Free will. And if you don't take a step... You don't, and you live in this state of misery. You don't take a step, okay? You don't take that step. The universe, this is a fated event, and this is a fated event, okay? So we have fate and destiny stepping in here. Because somebody has been so stubbornly holding on, it looks like to a grudge to me. Somebody has stubbornly held on to something that has made them miserable and upset and angry, whatever. And now we have destiny, fate stepping in with some sort of direct hit to the psyche. It's like, boom! How'd you like that one? Something is going to happen that is going to change the direction to make you take that step by the looks of things. You have to escape from this mentality. This is going to cause you to escape. If you stay there, you're going to drown
So somebody is needing to come out of this darkness that they've been in. The universe sees it, and so they're going to wake them up. Somebody's going to get a wake-up call. going to be uncomfortable. It is definitely going to be uncomfortable. Because you're probably going to have to swim. <laughs> you're probably going to have to swim. It's, not, it's like you won't be just going to be able to stay there. You're going to have to... You're going to have to swim or you're going to have to, I don't know what you're going to do, but um, somebody's been, I mean, if you look, there's the, there's the water right there. This water, there's, it's, like, it's going to be, what's that, what's that called? It's like a tsunami, okay? It is like a tsunami that it's going to come, it's going to come and it's going to pick you right up. You won't be able to escape this one. Somebody's been trying to escape some sort of fated, destined plan, okay? And that star card, they ha and the thing is, is they've been escaping wish fulfillment because the star is wish fulfillment. They've been escaping wish fulfillment, but wishing, okay? I want this, I want this. So they're, they've been telling the universe what they want, but not taking any action, trying to stay grounded, but really wanting it. And now the blessing, the star card's a blessing. This is a blessing in disguise. We got, and this, there's a blessing here. You don't take a step. Okay. Sit there. Storm is a brewing. Can't escape it. <laughs> no way. No way. Seven of Swords reversed. It's like getting caught. It's going to catch you. Something is catching up. Like that tsunami. You can't run away. You can't run away. No more. No more. Somebody has been running away from the truth, being dishonest. <laughs> Oh shit. Somebody has been being dishonest. And lying about what they really want. And the universe has been watching this whole time. They've been distracted probably by situations that didn't suit them well. Lost their focus, lost their concentration, lost their ambition, just gave up. Universe sees that too. Weak. Somebody has become weak. No follow through. And now it's like a dreaming of this, this relationship, dreaming of this abundance this this family whatever it is that they used to have this legacy wanting it i want this i want this but it looks like they lost it and they lost this abundance because of their stubbornness But somebody is making a conscious change. 10, 10, 10. Now, I did a reading. Did I do it this morning or last night? I don't know. Didn't we have these same 10s? Different deck. 10 of Pentacles, 10 of Wands, and Wheel of Fortune. We had completion, completion, completion. That was in the Aries reading. I think it was in the Aries reading. I don't know. Anyway, somebody is making a conscious change to allow... something better to come into their life and it's like they, they have to make this conscious change they have to because now we have the we have the universe involved like the universe says okay it's time it's time time for you to face your emotions somebody has been delaying their own happiness blocking it 
and there's been time for it's been it's been needed this change has been has needed been needed for a while the love is here this person knows who they love they, they know what they want but they just won't go for it or they know that the situation that they're in is not fruitful they know it they know it and they're missing an opportunity for true love because of stubbornness Somebody has not been able to find that force within them to master their emotions. And it has blocked them from happiness. No shit. And now we have this change of course on the horizon brought to you directly from the universe themselves, himself, herself, whoever the universe is, whatever. We have a change, of course, that is destined to happen at this time because wherever somebody is at, there is no wish fulfillment and it's time for wish fulfillment and it's time to step into the unknown and be in a place where you can be yourself because with that star card, I didn't tell you, you know, when she's naked, um, where you're comfortable, where you can be yourself completely. No shame. Healed. So we definitely have a unexpected blessing in disguise that is happening to change somebody's direction and break them free with this Ten of Wands. This is break free from something that is overwhelming, burdensome, heavy, and unhealthy. This person couldn't do it on their own. They didn't have the mental strength to do so. Weak. I'm sorry, we have weakness here. Universe says, you're going to find your strength. You're going to find your strength because you're going to have to swim or drown. And I know that's pretty strong, but that's what we need here. We need strength. And somebody has been lacking strength to take the bull by the horns, to take the reins, to step up to the plate. Somebody has not done that. Therefore, they haven't found their abundance. They haven't found their, well, the wish fulfillment. They haven't found it. They've been, uh, it's like I don't have anything to celebrate. Well, you don't have anything to celebrate if you don't take steps towards your wish fulfillment. You have to take those steps. If you just sit there and think about it, well, yeah, you're going to be discontent. And, you know, just praying and praying and praying. Somebody has been praying, 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 praying. I'm praying for the, I'm praying for love. I'm praying for something better. I'm praying for wish fulfillment. But if you don't take any steps, you know, you can dream about it until you're blue in the face. But you've got to take steps. And the universe hears your dreams, like, the, like that wish fulfillment card. At the beginning, the universe hears your dreams. They hear you praying, but you, you, this is a card of free will and destiny. Your free will plays a part. You have to take steps. And the universe says, okay, you don't dare to take a step. You're too weak. You don't have the strength. Boom. Time to take that step. can't escape it any longer no escaping it can't escape it any longer you've been thinking about it and it's been manifesting your thoughts truly do become things universe heard your thoughts swim swim in the direction of wish fulfillment Some sort of overwhelming, burden, burdensome situation is ending. It is. Completion, completion, completion. Somebody is about to start a new chapter. 
One chapter is closing here. One chapter of discontent, sadness, and misery, and heartache is closing. Thank you, God. Thank you, universe. Thank you for answering my prayers, even if it hurt. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Whatever is happening is bringing you closer to your life's purpose. And it's going to bring you something much, much, much better. Because once this wheel spins, it brings you to a better place. But you have to take that step. And because you haven't taken the step, that's when the universe has to step in and throw you in the water. Somebody is about to get thrown from their comfort zone. <laughs> because we're, their comfort zone wasn't stable, it wasn't solid, it wasn't well suited for them. There was no more growth there. There was like, it was a dead end. Their comfort zone was not fulfilling. Definitely unstable. Looks like a death. Doesn't it? it does. Of what you once knew. Death of the old. So that you can become alive again. Come back down to reality. No longer being in the clouds. Somebody has been in the clouds, right? Nope. Done. Reality check. It's time to come back down. King of Pentacles. Somebody who's been in a situation that's unstable, insecure, ungrounded, unrealistic, trying to pretend that only thing that matters is money. Very stubborn and greedy. We have somebody here that was very self-centered, stubborn, greedy. Trying to focus on everything but love, but dreaming of love, wanting love. But I'm going to bury myself in everything but love because... I'm so stubborn. I'm, this is a very stubborn and stubborn. Somebody is so stubborn. They don't have the mental strength to fight for love. They don't have the energy to for love. It's like I don't have energy for that. But I want it. I want it. I want it. Somebody has been focused on everything but love but dreaming of it. Dreaming of it. Trying to bury their true feelings in everything but love. But this focusing on everything but love has caused them a loss even in money. Because without love, everything else falls to sh hell shit. Okay? It's the truth. The saying is, is what? Money can't buy happiness. That's a true saying. That is a true saying. It's true. This person has had a loss of abundance. Probably even a loss of money. Because they didn't incorporate love into their life the universe sees that sure you want to put money first go ahead you can be greedy you'll be like scrooge or whatever you'll die alone the whole nine yards whatever nobody will give a shit fine if that's the life you want to live fine
could be. I mean, if you think about the story of Scrooge at the end, it's, too, it's like it's too late. He lost the one he loved because of his money. So this is kind of this is kind of like the Scrooge deal. It's like the universe is giving you an opportunity to not be Scrooge and die alone. Opportunity to work together, to compromise, to appreciate what others have. Learn from this. Somebody is, is receiving an opportunity, a blessing from the universe that's saying, okay, you're going to get, you are, it's like the Scrooge story, it really is, it's like you're going to get this opportunity to Find wish fulfillment, that first card with the star card. We're going to give you this opportunity right now. But you're going to have to swim. You're going to, you're going to have to step outside of your ego. You're going to have to step outside of your stubbornness. You're going to have to not be greedy. You're going to have to open up your heart to love. And put in effort. And communicate. Because it's a card of communication. Because there's an opportunity for love here that is being missed. Somebody, you know who it is. You, I think you do. Or somebody is, is wanting or you need to just open your heart or whatever the case is. Somebody has been closed off emotionally, burying themselves in everything but love, but dreaming of love. And it's like this Scrooge story. It's like it is. It's like the Scrooge story. Now we have this tower, this unexpected uh, hit that gives you the opportunity to swim in the direction of what you really, really, really want. To revive something or to become alive again with something that you have been dreaming about. But you have to take that step. So, oh, speak, communicate the truth. This is the sort of truth. It's taking the power, the raw truth, nothing but the truth. Speak up. The universe is giving you, this is the hand of God, giving you the opportunity to communicate the truth. To take the power in your hands to communicate clearly. This is also a wake-up call. Somebody is receiving a rude awakening, a wake-up call in regards to wish fulfillment. I need to go after this before it's dead. Or I'm dead. So I feel as though somebody is probably going to communicate or receive communication from somebody that is meant to be in the next chapter of their life because this is a new chapter communication new chapter so we have some sort of message it looks like communication truthful honest communication coming in with someone in regards to or from someone in regards to this new chapter that is about to begin but something has to be dropped because this is dropping something Making a conscious change to communicate the truth, to bring good luck, good fortune, good things, and a new beginning into their lives. So somebody is being given the opportunity to communicate, wake up, speak up in regards to something that they have been too fearful and weak to move forward 
towards. You know what I mean? This person was so... closed off. I mean, so closed off emotionally. We have somebody here that tried to bury everything in their in their job and their money and tried to bury their true feelings, but to the outside world, you know, to the outside world, and even to themselves, perhaps, you know, I don't care. I don't care. I hate the world. I hate, I don't, I don't care about love. I don't care about love, but that your subconscious says you do. Okay. Your subconscious says in your dreams, your true dreams, your true wishes, whatever you think, you go to bed at night thinking about love, well, your thoughts become things. Universe hears those thoughts and they say, okay, you want this love, we see you want this love, but you're making the bad choices, you're making the wrong choice. You've been deceiving yourself, you've been living a lie. And you've been robbing yourself of love. And now it's time to wake up. So we have a wake-up call. Somebody is receiving some sort of rude awakening on the 10th. And it's probably, you know, whatever this rude... It could be painful. It absolutely could be painful. It could happen instantly. It could really hurt. Because when... I mean, it hurts. It hurts. So I think that there's some sort of uh, fated change, okay? There's a change, of course, on the horizon that is coming about with, a, with help from, from the universe. I mean, the universe, this is a tower, okay? We have a, we have a big old freaking direct hit that is going to make somebody um, come out of the clouds and face reality. So yeah, that's what I see. It's like we have a reality check. You've been you've been trying to uh, hide this. Well, you can't hide it anymore because it's about to be illuminated by the looks of things, um, and it's going to lead you towards wish fulfillment because that very first card was the star card. It's a true blessing that this hit is coming. So. Yeah, I feel as though there's some sort of change of direction that is happening. That's all there is to it. Somebody's direction is changing for the better because the time is now. It's like divine timing. That right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Communication may come in. Truthful, honest communication that has been delayed. But somebody is deciding to drop the, the grudge, drop the stubbornness because something happens. Something happens. Somebody gets some sort of wake-up call. And all of a sudden this, this grudge gets dropped and it's like... I want to work with you. I want to help you. Infinite abundance. And I'm not going to read this one, but overcoming obstacles. You can overcome anything. That's what this is about. Somebody's going to get, it's like a big old stab if you look at that. Somebody is going to feel some pain. And I know that's what's going to happen. But this pain is going to open them up. It's going to open them up. Anyway, infinite abundance. Abundance is pouring into your life. Everything is blossoming and bearing fruit now. Take a look at that fruit. That's funny, huh? Open yourself to receive. The prosperity you seek is being activated. The prosperity you seek is being activated. 
A stream of abundance in all areas of life is ready to flow into your life. Remember, I see something is going to flow. There's no doubt about it. The Creator desires that you prosper. I told you the universe is in control here. But your free will plays a part. But anyway, the Creator desires that you prosper. Take action in the direction of your dreams. Like, I can't make this shit up. Take action in the direction of your dreams. Remember, we started this out with your dreams. We did. We did. This is not the time to passively wait for prosperity to fall into your lap. And somebody has been waiting. Remember, I said to, at the beginning, I said, to follow your dreams, you have to take steps. You can't just sit there and dream. You have to take steps. Life goes in cycles. Right here. There are times when fields lay fallow, and there are also times of harvest. Right now, you are moving towards a harvest time to receive an outpouring of abundance. However, you must first know that you deserve it, and you do. There are times on the journey when life is follow, but in the times of harvest, the sacred traveler shares the bounty and even volunteers to help others bring in their crops. Remember I said something about somebody helping you. Interesting. This is the time to give deeply and fully of who you are and what you have. For the more you truly give, the more you receive. Now this is truly the story of Scrooge. Open your heart. This is the time to give deeply and fully of who you are and what you have. For the more you truly give, the more you receive. It is, it's the universal law. As you focus on gratitude for what you already have, your abundance will grow in leaps and bounds. I mean, I can't, I can't make this shit up. So somebody has been dreaming about something more the universe has heard their dreams and they've seen this person sit back and do nothing about it time to wake up come out of the clouds communicate be honest open your heart I don't know who this reading is for, but it feels as though there's an opportunity for love here. Infinite abundance, love, infinite love. You just have to get it. You just have to take it. Somebody's going to wake up and realize, even if they wake up the hard way, that there's more to life than this. I don't know who this reading is for. Good luck. I think I'll do another one with my blue deck. See if we can get a little bit different message. If you are Scrooge, wake up. You can't take any of that with you when you die. None of it. And who liked Scrooge anyway? Who liked Scrooge? Nobody. 